Hey everyone, today we're heading over to a nearby dairy farm. Our mission? To taste the authentic traditional pajarete. What makes this drink so unique is that it's prepared by mixing fresh milk directly from the cow with some flammable alcohol. So join us as we dive into seeing the entire process from milking the cow to creating this frosty rich beverage that's packed with flavor and a bit of a kick. Vamonos. But first, let's take a stroll. Off in the distance, you can see the sunrise above Lake Chapala. We're walking from the town to the dairy farm, about a 20 minute walk out through the beautiful blue agave fields. So real quick, I wanna ask you something. A surprising 98% of our viewers haven't hit the subscribe button yet. Crazy, right? So here I am asking for a tiny favor. If you enjoy our videos, if we brought a smile to your face, would you mind? Oh look, a puppy. Would you mind hitting the subscribe button? It's just a little click, but it would mean the world to us. Let's get back to the video. And here we are at the Mexican Starbucks. All right, before we get started, we need to put out some feed for the cows while they're being milked. Next, let's bring in the cows. Whoa, looks like a big mighty bull decided to join us too. We've been told to leave him alone and to keep our distance. Now that the cows are feeding and the milking is about to begin, let's start preparing our drink. Now grab your glass and add two to three tablespoons of the milk sugar mix. Let's hold on for a second and let's pause right here. Let's dive first into what this mix is all about. It's a simple blend of just two ingredients, abuelita chocolate and sugar. Abuelita chocolate, as you may know, is traditionally used to make Mexican hot chocolate. Typically the ratio is two parts sugar to one part chocolate, but hey, I like to turn up the chocolatey goodness. It's all about finding the perfect balance of sweetness and a rich chocolate flavor. And now I am finally able to answer, what's a pajarete? Well, it's a traditional morning drink from Mexico. I'm now adding instant coffee and cane alcohol. And we're not talking mild alcohol here. It is 96 proof pure cane alcohol. Look at this warning label, flammable, keep away from fire and your eyes. This stuff is serious. This alcohol is mixed in because it's believed to kill any bacteria in the fresh milk. Not sure how true this is, but that's the local wisdom. Now let's get to the fun part, milking the cow milk directly into our glass. The fresh warm milk makes the drink nice and foamy, which is the key to this delicious pajarete. The pajarete, also known as paloma, hot milk, or the drink of death, is famous for its raw, unpasteurized milk loaded with sugar and a kick of cane alcohol. But then again, the ingredients can vary depending on the region in Mexico. Wow, it's so delicious. Imagine, it's like a chocolate milk from Abuela with a splash of alcohol you stole from Abuelo. The alcohol gives it a real kick, but in a good way. So why the ominous nickname, the drink of death? Well, people may believe it is because of the raw milk and the super strong alcohol. The raw milk hasn't been processed to kill bacteria and microorganisms. But the real reason behind the grim name is because during the pandemic, some regions started selling poorly distilled alcohol to cut costs. This adulterated alcohol led to serious health issues and even deaths, giving Pajarete its dark nickname. There was about 25 deaths in Jalisco. Behind its grim and ominous name, the drink of death, Pajaretes really are infamous and legendary for something else. For an unfortunate few people, it can be brutal. Now, I'm usually okay after a couple, but today I went for four. And let me tell you, I better get home quick. It is well known that for some people, it will give you the runs. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you next time.